I'm Jacqueline with Celebrity Interviews. I'm here with Megan Gillespie, and I'm going to ask her a few questions, so let's get started. At what age did you start singing? Um, originally, I think it was like 18 months old. My dad kind of put me on the stage, but um, like in school and everything, I started when I was like 18 years old. Who are your inspirations? Uh, my biggest inspiration is Kristen Chenoweth. She's a Broadway star. She was the original Linda in Wicked. Um, she's just awesome. She has a lot of health issues and she's very petite. I have both of those, so the fact that she's so awesome is encouragement. <laughs> what is your favorite part about singing and performing? I like telling the story of the song. Like, I like touching people and having them feel the story, I guess. Can you tell everyone more about the theater production you are currently part of called The Unsinkable Molly Brown in your role? Uh, currently I'm doing Unsinkable Molly Brown. I am Molly Brown. Um, it's about this woman who, she was on the Titanic and she survived and she made the lifeboat go back and look for rescue for survivors, I guess. That's only one part of her story. Like, it talks about her uh, growing up from rags to riches, kind of. It's really fun. What is your favorite song you sing as Molly Brown? Oh, I have two. One is I Ain't Down Yet, and she's wrestling with her brothers, and it's just about never being down, always saying she's going to never give up and go places. And the second one is Are You Sure, which she's trying to raise money for a church, and she's like all gospel -y. It's a lot of fun. What has been a favorite theater production you've been a part of? Um, I think Footloose was one of my favorites. We did that last year. Um, it had such upbeat, fast, kind of modern popish music. I mean, it's from the 80s, but it was, I haven't done a show like that, and it was a lot of fun doing that. If you could sing anywhere in the world, where would it have to be? Uh, I think I'm going to say in London, like in the West End, or Broadway. I'm a big stage theater person, so on a good stage is all I need. <laughs> If you could sing with anyone in the world, who would it have to be? Oh, definitely, Kristen Chandler. That would be like, oh my goodness. <laughs> what are your plans with your singing over the summer? Um, over the summer, not too much. I'm going to school for theater, actually. I do both theater and singing. But, um, so I'm going to school for that. And then, just wherever the wind takes me. <laughs> what is, uh, do you have any advice for anyone wanting to sing as a career, or just advice in general? If it's what you want to do, do it. Like, I kind of went back and forth as far as school goes, deciding on if I wanted to do something as difficult as show business or do something more uh, predictable or uh, so I can't, just mainstream. And I'm like, I tried that and I wasn't going to be happy. So if it's what you want to do, just do it no matter what. What is your favorite path to be? We Meets World, I loved that show. <laughs> what is your favorite current TV show? Oh, Glee is one of my favorites. Glee. <laughs> <laughs> and if you were stuck in one TV show, like the storyline, which would it have to be? Um, um, I actually think this TV show called Dr. Who is like my second favorite. He goes like through space and time and he's an alien and he travels. It's real cool. <laughs> I'm a dork. <laughs> what is your favorite past movie? Beauty and the Beast was my favorite when I was little. Yes. Uh, what was the last movie you saw in the movie theater? Uh, I saw Paul. It's about the alien or something. It was really funny. Who is your favorite Disney princess? Belle from Beauty and the Beast. She's my favorite. What is one thing you cannot live without? Um, tea. I live on tea, so I'm going <laughs> to say that. Uh, what is your favorite restaurant or last food to where you live in Florida? Oh, I'm kind of biased. I work at a Longhorn Steakhouse, so that's where my favorite is. That was my favorite before I worked there, too. If you had a soundtrack to your life, what song or songs 
sure heard of the traveling pants, actually. I love that book. <laughs> it's one of Before you criticize someone, you walk a mile in their shoes. That way, when you criticize them, you're a mile away and you have their shoes. <laughs> okay, would you sing a song for everyone? Oh, sure. Okay, I'm going to do um, Don't Rain in My Parade. It's one of my favorites. Don't tell me not to live, just sit and putter. Life's candy and the sun's a ball of butter. Don't bring around a cloud to rain on my parade. Don't tell me not to fly, I've simply got to. If someone takes a spill, it's me and not you. Who told you you're allowed to rain on my parade? I'll march my band out, I'll beep my drum. And if I'm found out, your turn it back, sir. At least I didn't fake it, hat, sir. Guess I didn't make it. Get ready for me, love, cause I'm a comer. I've simply gotta march my heights a drummer. Don't bring around a don't bring around a cloud to rain on my parade.